Hello everyone, welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 with the imminent launch of JUICE, the Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer by ESA. I have imported their model of the spacecraft. It is from the ESA website. Uh, it is their model and textures and then I did the animation and of course the configuration for Kerbal Space Program. So that is what it looks like in Kerbal Space Program and uh, we will briefly see how it works. I'm not going to launch it, I'm just offering it as a mod and the link will be in the video description. It's a very lightweight thing and I haven't brought it all the way out to Jupiter yet and part of that, the reason for that is because in order to get to Jupiter you're going to have to do many many uh, flybys, uh, the Moon, Earth, Venus, Earth, Earth I think it goes and so yeah I'll have to practice that some other time uh, but just to show you, uh, you can type in JUICE in the search field and then the spacecraft has everything deployed initially so you'll have to retract it and it has the fuel and RCS and a reaction wheel. It really does have a uh, reaction wheel or gyros or whatever you want to call them and uh, it has 12 RCS ports as well. They're not very powerful as you might expect. They're very uh, conservative on the propellant and then the, there's the panels. There's a node buried in the spacecraft so you're gonna have to hold alt to attach those. The weird shininess is something due to the way they made the model. I, I can't get rid of it so I'm not going to try to get the details but it's supposed to have 850 watts at Jupiter and if we take a look at Jupiter uh, well uh, maybe I'm uh, underdoing a little bit but basically uh, it depends on whether you're at periapsis or apoapsis around the sun and of course days elapse is another issue but I don't think um, this mod will track the days elapse I'm not sure but anyway that gives you an estimate there the spacecraft itself doesn't consume that much it's only 400 watts so it should be able to handle it it's just about right and uh, the panels do not rotate to track I don't know if the real ones do, but anyway, uh, the antenna should be pointed at Earth and so I assume they're going to keep the spacecraft oriented so that the panels don't have to rotate, but maybe they do rotate, I don't know. Uh, and then we have the engine, which is separate. The engine is just a 400 Newton thruster, uh, burns MMH and MON3 and uh, so do the RCS ports. I've just gone with a 50-50 uh, mix and because it, there was no mix stated and the, the usual mix between MMH and MON3 is very close to 50-50 anyway so it made the math easier and we should have very close to the real vessel mass and the real dry mass so all that should be okay so that is what we have here and it has a node at the bottom to attach to whatever spacecraft uh, let me just use something okay maybe that doesn't have a node right there okay so you'll have to figure out how to mount it. I don't have a payload adapter with this, but there are plenty of payload adapters floating around, including in my small rocket spec. So yeah, we are going to cheat it into orbit and then test it out there. Okay, so right now we should be drawing the full power, which is 400 watts, right? We saw that. That's what the spacecraft draws. And actually, if we use the... Um, reaction wheel to rotate it will draw more as you can see uh, for some reason double what I expected but I thought it was only going to be 0.25 anyway let me extend the solar panels Just, uh, I did the animation I don't know if that's exactly how they would animate it here around earth of course it's got recharge really really quickly it's got like 21 kilowatts uh, and that's because the charge that it gets around Jupiter will be 125th that. So, yeah, we need it. So, uh, RCS thrusters prograde. Oh, we have to stage. This realism overhaul. There are 12 RCS thrusters, and they're in sets of two. But partly it'll be relying on the gyros, too. And then the engine is that little bottom ring there, and we can light that. It's really just a 400 Newton engine, and, well 425 is what they said, and it has 2,872 meters per second, which should be fine. However, 
It's a seven hour and 17 minute burn time. You have my permission to go into the RO configuration for this mod and change it <laughs> to, to whatever you feel might be easier. Or you could just take the engine off. One good thing about having the engine be a separate part is you can just replace it with some other MH and Mon 3 engine. Uh, it won't be exactly legit, but it might make your life easier since we can't really time warp through a uh, burn like this. In, I mean, of course, the fizz warp, yes, but not the kind of time warp you'll want to do. So, yeah. I mean, if you want to cut it down to 1 hour and 45 minutes, you might be able to with 4x fizz warp, but still. So, that is the juice, and I'll turn off the engine. And so, with that, I'll link it in the video description. We didn't really burn much Delta V because it was so slow. But yeah, anyway, so... With that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.